John Williams, uh, raise your hand and we'll get a mic for you. Mike, go ahead. Uh, Sasha, the start that you guys had, any way you can tie that to having that day off on Thursday? Um, I mean, yeah, probably a little bit. I think we, were, we had a little bit more energy to start. Um, I thought the fans were really into it. It really helped us, you know, get going early. But, you know, we, uh, yeah, like, like like you said, that rest probably helped us, and we got we got off to a good start defensively. We were able to make some shots early that kind of propelled us on a, a pretty good first half. For Jaden, that's a pretty tough team to score against typically. What really worked for you guys from an offensive perspective today? Uh, I felt like we just made the right reads today. Uh, um, earlier, I felt like you know we all you know just we were poised um, from the get go, and then. You know, we just got in rhythm um, offensively, and then um, you know, obviously, I feel like we did a better job on defense today. But you know, we still got more room for improvement. Um, but you know, overall, good day for us. Jaden, just kind of recap that dunk where you blew by Harper and went over two guys. <laughs> uh, really, just I don't know. I saw opportunity. He was looking around. I just you know went right by him and. You know, I felt like there was a couple of dudes when I went up, um, but you know, I just finished it and um, you know, I finished strong. Jaden, uh, they had cut the, cut the lead back down to one you know, about three minutes ago and a half. You kind of took over there, you had three drives in a row, including that dunk on the turnover. Would, uh, when they got it that close, did you kind of sense that uh, it was getting a little uncomfortable? Uh, yeah, I think. Um, you know, for us, it was just trying to, you know, push that lead. Um, you know, we didn't want it to get close at all. And, you know, we just played great team basketball today. And, um, you know, we were able to make plays down the stretch. And, um, you know, they were pressing us, you know, the whole game. Uh, I feel like we, we were patient and, you know, we just took what they, give, they gave us. Uh, Trey, I think you and Zach were a combined 10 of 14 or something like that. Uh, this is a team you typically have to be pretty physical against um, around the basket. What really kind of worked for you guys there um, in the post? Um, man, just trying to be patient. Um, you know, a lot of guys, you know, a lot of teams know that me and Zach, we live as one-on-one. You know, there's a very, very high chance we're going to score. So um, it's all about, you know, kind of making a decision, making a defense, making a decision. You know, you're either going to play as one-on-one or you're going to sink in and we're just going to kick it out to our shooters. So, um, I think in that aspect, we make a lot of teams make decisions, and um, you know we just kind of play that way. So it's been working for us. You know we go inside out, and you know hopefully we continue to improve on that. So trade me on back here. Uh, Rutgers cut the lead to ten a couple times there midway in the third in the, in the final half. Mm -hmm. uh, you and Gillis made some big time rebounds that kind of kept that in check, and then Ivy and Sapanovich and everybody else scored. How important is that to you to, to secure those rebounds at that moment? Um, it's very important. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, we played them the first time. We gave up some, uh, I gave up some free throw box outs, um, and it was, you know, it was tough to live with myself after that. You know, because you know, you look at games and you look back and say, I could have did this differently. You know, um, but you know, nobody, you you want to control what you can control, and you know, one thing you can control is how hard you play. And you know, I think a lot of guys. Uh, they have chemistry on the offensive end, but I think with me and Mason, you know, we have that chemistry where we're going to go in, we're going to hit dudes, uh, we're going to go, you know, charge the ball down, and um, man, that, that's that's kind of just what we do. We have that, you know, that connection. So, a question for you guys, any three of you? Let's talk about the fans. I mean, this place was rocking today. I mean, you guys have been here for a while, Jaden. You know, just not as long as these guys. But what do you say to the fans that support you guys every game? Get down a little bit, but by golly, they're ready for you. Yeah, definitely. I, I think, um, you know, like I said before, I thought they gave us a great boost at the, at the start of the game. <clears throat> I, um, you know, we're clearly biased, but this is, uh, I think this is easily the best environment in, in uh, the country. So uh, having fans here every single night that are sell, sold out and packed the place, it's um, it's really unique to, to play in an environment like this. And uh, bittersweet, I'll be able to get one more time to do it um, next time against Indiana. So just trying to cherish those moments and enjoy um, you know, the fans while we can. Sasha, you guys have all talked about how that day off sort of helped you this week, but now you get six days um, before Michigan State, then you play the final three in eight days. How much will that help just to be as refreshed as you can be for that final push? Massive. 
um, yeah, we definitely need some days off, and it's going to be uh, important for us to kind of um, do everything that we can to get, um, you know, any injuries fixed or, you know, get some rest, get off of our feet or whatever it may be. And, um, you know, we're going to have some good days of practice, you know, prepare for Michigan State, and then uh, just keep moving forward. Uh, for Sasha and Jay, just how you feel like you handled the press tonight because they came out, came at you guys early in the first half with it, and just how, and the progress do you feel like you guys have made in that area this season? Yeah, it's just making making the right decisions. Uh, obviously, um, you know that's something we haven't been great at, but um, I thought we did a good job of tonight, of just evaluating reads and then making the right play. We made a dumb turnover at the end; that was my fault. But uh, other than that, I thought we really handled it well. Yeah, we definitely improved from. You know, the first time we played Rutgers, um, I think we just we just very patient today. Um, you know, in practice, you know, we really you know understood what we were supposed to be doing in the game, and um, you know, we just played you know with energy today, and you know, just you know, it's it's good to see that, and we got to keep doing that. Travion, uh, in the first half, you were really in your bag. You hit that three, but I think the most the most. Uh, biggest highlight of that first half was that step back that you had, not your typical shot like your shimmy shimmy floater. How long have you been working on that step back shot? <laughs> uh, man, you, you just, you, you prepare for everything. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, when I trained or when I came up, you know, training, you know, I always told myself not to be one dimensional, you know, not to be you know, don't settle to be just a post player. You know, I, and I will always, you know, when I go to the gym, I always work on different things. Um, and like I said, you just never know. Um, but, you know, I have that there, and I, I do work on it. And, you know, the GAs can kind of vouch for me on that. Um, I try to get in I try to get in and work on it when I can. Um, but like I said, you just prepare for anything, man. Um, like I said, every team we're going to play, um, we're going to get their best shot. So you have to be prepared and, you know, you got to pull some stuff out of the bag sometime. <laughs> Last one, Brian. For Jaden, um, they had 11 turnovers, but you got 19 points off of them. Um, how do you kind of account for that in terms of, I guess, your guys' offensive mentality today going from um, kind of defense to offense? Uh, I think, you know, we just – we really locked in to the scout on what they were supposed to be doing um, offensively for them. And, you know, we kind of – I feel like we did a better job today um, just taking <coughs> – taking them out of their stuff and what they wanted to do. And, um, you know, that led to, you know, easy transition buckets, which you know, I think we're one of the best teams in transition, um, if not um, the best team. And, you know, we just got to keep doing that each and every game, um, you know, taking them out of their stuff and, and then, you know, get it, get it going on transition. That's what we're talking about. Before the game, obviously you guys are getting hyped, but one thing I noticed, Travion, you come to the window and you're giving people high fives, and the last high five you give is to that little kid. What does that type of fan interaction mean to you? Uh, man, it means everything. Like I said, you know, they have mentioned before, man, our, our fans are our backbone. You know, they, they give us energy. Um, they get us going. Um, but, man, it just means a lot to have people support you. Um, you know, a lot of times, you know, you, you lose a couple games, and you, you, hit, a, you hit adversity. And, you know, sometimes people give up on you, man. Um, and just to be back home and just see everybody still cheering, man. Um, like I said, Mackey was unbelievable, unbelievable tonight. Um, they were unbelievable against Maryland. Uh, I think they they won the game for us when we played Maryland. Uh, so, man, it, it, it means everything, you know, just to have that support. So. Thanks, Trey. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.